So understanding the dash on the Renault Zoe can be quite simple once you know how to use it. Initially though, it looks quite confusing. Digital dash can bring a lot to, um, to the table in terms of functionality, um, but it is a step away from the traditional dashes. So I'm gonna go through some of the layout controls um, and the functions that the digital dash on the Renault Zoe can do. So to start off, a very important electric vehicle, you have the battery capacity on the side here. So we're showing 81%. We then have an icon here, which looks like a fuel gauge. That is the range. So currently the Zoe on 81% is showing as 177 miles. This does work in the same way as MPG. So as you drive the vehicle and it learns how you drive, the range will differ. Um, so there is an estimated range of 235 miles to 245, depending on which specification of Zoe you go for. Um, obviously, this can alter and change depending on um, weather conditions. So in cold weather, it will reduce. And in um, hot weather, you'll get the higher range. That's just because a battery can't contain as much energy um, during cold weather. So we then have here consumption and it shows kilowatt hours, etc. I'm going to be using these buttons here, this one, and then these arrows um, to control through the dash. So when I say boxes, that will be this one here. And when I'm talking about arrows, it will be these here. So by pressing the arrows on this function, you'll see the consumption changes to the journey. And this is your, your trip as well as your um, mile per hour. Tire pressures, so they've got smart tire pressures within all the vehicles. So as you're driving along, it will learn your tire pressures and tell you what those are. So that's on this section. If I press the boxes, we'll go along. You'll see it changing up here as well. So now we're on the music and you're on FM and you can scroll through the radio stations with this. If we press boxes again, you get your sat nav. So if you've got a route planned, it will show you here. And then you've got your compass, tell you north, south, etc. on there. Then the last box is, you will see it changes on the right. So this is you, your powertrain stuff. So the leaf, as you're driving along, that will kind of go green and then recede, depending on how economically you're driving. And then here we've got battery, a motor and the wheels. So with any electric vehicle, you've got regenerative charge. So as you're driving, it will show arrows coming from the motor to the wheels. So power from the battery to the motor to the wheels. And then if you're slowing down, it will show going power going back from the wheels to the motor and recharging the battery there. Over onto the side here, we have reverse, neutral, D and B. So the Renault Zoe has bi mode, which is a single pedal driving. So it increases the regenerative charge. So you can drive with just your one um, one pedal accelerating and when you lift off, it will brake considerably. And that's the difference between bi mode and D. In the center of the screen here, we have got blue, green and white. As you're driving, it will start to go up here. If it's in the green, you're driving economically. If it's down in the blue, it's recharging the battery. And in the white, you're using a larger amount of energy than um, expected. And that is kind of as you're really accelerating onto the motorway, that kind of thing. We've then got your lane departure warning on the side here, your mile per hour in the middle, and then the um, cruise control and speed limiter controls there. So that's display one. We also, if I come over to the sat nav system here, you can see we can change the coloration. Um, but also you can do style one, style two and style three. So if I click style two, it will change to this layout. All of the buttons and everything exactly the same as before, um, just a slightly different layout. But if I go style three, we then change to this. And as you can see, changes slightly, but all of the same icons as discussed just in a completely different layout there. And then I can change the colors. So you can really customize it, which is a really nice feature um, to the Renault Zoe's dash there. 